Well, at four years of age, he experienced hair discrimination. With the help of his mother, a five-year-old Chicagoan is writing history. He's now the face of advocating for the Crown Act, hoping to prevent hair discrimination across the country. Tia Ewing has the story tonight. These are pictures of children as young as four years old, singled out and isolated, victims of hair discrimination. When I was four years old, my mommy braided my hair. I went to school because my friends thought my hair was cool, and the principal called my mommy that my hair was on Facebook. That was in March of 2021. From there, Jet Hawkins and his mother, Ida Nelson, started a movement. I decided that I had to fight for our children. The now five-year-old's name is part of history and changing lives for other children. This bill, having received the constitutional majority, is hereby declared passed. Jett stood by the governor's side as the bill was signed into law August of 2021. The law took effect in January of 2022. It stops all schools in the state of Illinois from discriminating against hairstyles historically associated with race, ethnicity, or hair texture. That includes protective hairstyles like braids, locks, and twists. And it's so much more than just a style. It's a symbol of history and pride. Our ancestors would place rice, seeds, and sometimes gold on the scalp between two sections of hair. They did this so that if they were captured and forced to voyage across the Atlantic, they'd at least have a small amount of food for sustenance. Illinois Democratic Senator Mike Simmons introduced the bill before it became law. He wears his hair in freeform locks. I would make the argument that when you're constantly targeting young people um, based on their bodies and things that they don't control, you're traumatizing them and you're creating a mental health issue. We're letting this young king know that he is handsome. Jermaine Horton is a local photographer that founded the Art of Confidence Project. He's filmed over a dozen children discriminated at schools across the country all over their hair. I was always taught, have a clean haircut, don't wear braids. It's, it's a sign of being a thug. It's a sign of these different things. And this didn't even come from black people that told me that. Now on a greater mission, Jet and his mom are hoping to lock arms with parents and other children across the country. Now I can wear my hair like this. Teaming up with Dove and advocating for local and federal governments to pass the Crown Act. Right now, it's law in 34 municipalities and 14 states. So children like Jet can live freely and, most importantly, proudly. Tia Ewing, Fox 32 Chicago. The Crown Act was created in 2019 by Dove and the Crown Coalition in partnership with then State Senator Holly Mitchell of California. If passed, it would prevent discrimination in public schools and workplaces.